Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update, giveaway, and what's new. We're going to start with the giveaway and the way that we do that is if you wanted to have participated, you will need to have left a comment on our most recent uh, shop update video and typically we release them every Monday but we were on the road kidnapping our niece and seeing our other one graduate. Um, so it's been a little whoo of a wild but we are here. Uh, so have left a comment on that video and that puts your name in the hat for us to do our drawing here where we are giving away one of our Dragon Eye necklaces and if you are the winner and live within the con like within a US shipping address, um, we'll pick your name using the random comment picker and uh, you would just send us your, I think I got all jumbled up. Gotta be a US shipping address to win. Gotta have left a comment. We use a random comment picker and that picks the winner. We will never announce it down in the comments, so watch out for scammers uh, who are like, Telegram me at WhatsApp. Like, nope, don't do that. That's a scam. Uh, we will announce it in our video within the first minute or three. Um, so, that being said, let's go ahead and get the camera flipped around. Oh, and if you live outside of the US, you can participate, but you'll get digital rewards instead. And we're giving away a Dragon Eye necklace. And a link to where you can pick the one that you want if you're the winner is down in the video comments description, the video description. Y'all, I take a week off and I lose my mind. <laughs> like, we'll get the hang of it, y'all. Let's get this paused and flipped around. Okay, so this is my high-tech screen capture. Um, so we had 99 unique commenters, and I'm gonna click Start, and this is gonna pick one of the winners. Valerie Westmoreland says, I love the flash and wire rep cabs. You are super talented. Well, thank you, Valerie. And also, you'll see here, we do our drawings on the Friday following the Monday shop update, so you have until that Friday to comment and put your name in the hat. Um, so, and we do click filter duplicate users, and so that way, um, you know, you, you don't have to leave more than one comment. It doesn't really help you out or anything. Um, but yeah, congratulations so much, Valerie. If you can send us an email to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com with where you would like for us to ship your giveaway winnings to, as well as which dragon eye number you would like, which let me, let me pull that up. So this is our homepage, and so you would just come here and you could either click shop down here or you could click shop up here and you would just click dragon scale necklaces. There is a link down in the video description as well, but this is where you would pick out, like let's say you wanted this one. So you would say, hey, I would like, I want this dragon eye, if you're a winner, uh, and ship it to here. So you can have it either shipped to yourself or to a friend or something like, you know, um, if you think someone you know would like a dragon eye better than you, we can ship it to wherever you like, so long as it's been the, within the U.S. So, now we're going to have a look at our shop update before I take you guys around on what is new this week. Because, oh my god, so much is new this week. So, we have... I gotta organize these. But we have some beautiful azurite malachite in 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 millimeter. Some of them have some really beautiful shimmering pyrite inclusions um, in the azurite. The malachite banding is just gorgeous. Uh, these are quite soft, so I wouldn't recommend them for um, electroforming. Like, if you were to do that, you would definitely want to make sure to have a really nice latex layer over them. And the bead size is accommodating up to an 18 gauge American wire gauge and uh, I think that would work for the four millimeter as well but certainly all of them will fit on a 20 gauge wire without any trouble and I will be testing before we get them listed up on our website um, to see if they can accommodate an 18 gauge wire and we will have that information noted down in the uh, item description over on our website which by the way I turned the camera a bit and it, that's why I usually pause it <laughs> for the recording so I cannot be troubled to edit my videos but we go here we click on craft materials over here on the side and you can click gemstone beads and that will take you right over to where you can find all the beads that we have available we still have quite a bit of our mixed amazonite which has some beautiful earthy tones mixed in with that clear robin egg blue not clear like it's opaque like it's a like a clear sky robinade blue. I don't know. Um, 
it felt like a good word to use and you can see we are pretty sold out on a lot of them um but we'll whenever we get the azurite malachite listed it should be down at the bottom of the page um but yeah we still have a bit of our fasted amethyst and we've really appreciated y'all coming and shopping and just helping to support our small business and our channel and you know like y'all change our life so thank you guys so much uh especially with these past couple of weeks with our kiln being broken which by the way stay tuned for a surprise at the end of the video um we have some really beautiful malachite with a little bit of calcite inclusioning in it but i think that's just stunning so we have a bunch of different pieces that are like this so so pretty this is the first time we've ever carried malachite in our shop and i'm really excited um these are just beautiful stones and i'm really eager to uh share them with y'all and see what you make with them and also the lighting in here uh we've got the air conditioner going in the other room which is why i'm not in like my regular recording spot Ooh, that's pretty um, because it's super loud in front of the air conditioner, but the lighting in here is a little different than what we're used to. Um, and so I'm still figuring it out. Some really beautiful labradorites. And there will be more picture. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got like a little rainbow right there, just super intense. That's so like, I mean, typically whenever I think, ooh, Labradorite, I think, you know, stuff like this one that's got, like, a really nice big flashy flash. But I'm just picturing, like, a, you know, if you did, I've been seeing more and more folks do little um, wire-wrapped, like, pine trees coming up. And, like, that would just look like, I don't know, it looks like a portal through the universe up in the sky of, like, a little tree or mountain scene that you could do in wire or just doing a wire tree over it. Or just, I mean, it's just beautiful. Even Labradorite without, you know, <laughs> a stellar flash. I still find, I love the grayish green of the stone. Ooh, and then some more Malachite. And then, oh, that one's a pretty one too. I love that banding. Do you prefer bullseye style malachite or malachite that's like this that just is almost like a agate style banding? And see the camera isn't really picking up on that at all, is it? Mm. We'll definitely have to go into different lighting to get the pictures for on the website. I really like this one too. Hmm, stunning stuff. Ooh, and then we do have some lapis lazuli moons with some beautiful pyrite inclusions in them as well. And a little bit more of that same batch of blue with our Puddle Glass Super Smash Cabs. Really love that one. And I'm just going to show you one of the trays today. We do have pictures. Well, you know, I always think that because I don't want to take up too much of your time. But at the same time, pretty rocks, y'all. We've got to look at them. We've got to. <laughs> but you can see it's kind of a lot of more of the same, but also it's a lot of each piece is unique as well. So just because it's a whole bunch of malachite doesn't mean they're all the exact same malachite. They all have their own unique striping and banding and concentric uh, bullseyes and different stuff. So yeah, we may take these outside to get some pictures actually. And then we've got some interesting labradorite shapes some more of those lapis moons some more of oh what's this guy look like oh that's so pretty i love that we left the bubble in this one because i thought it just looked so cool like a little crater pock and then this is also just a sampling of what we have new added to our shop we still have quite a bit of um, other gemstone and glass cabochons up for sale on our website from previous shop updates. And I do want to give a really big shout out and thank you to everyone who participated in our newsletter exclusive 
Happy Birthday Randy sale where uh, Randy had his 36th birthday, so we had a 36% off coupon. So there, you know, there are incentives to, you know, getting our free newsletter, because uh, normally we always have like a 15% off coupon in there, but, um, oh, that's so pretty too. I just wanted to kind of thank you guys for being in our life so much, and y'all certainly did help Randy to have a very happy birthday. He appreciated everybody's birthday wishes uh, that you'd left in your order notes. But uh, if you would like to participate in more of our surprise sales and different things like that, be sure to sign up for our free newsletter. Um, it's just, you just go to our website and there's like a newsletter sign up page. And we send out emails on Mondays when we have our shop updates. And we send emails out on Thursdays when we have our new tutorials. That way if YouTube's hit and miss about notifying you. And then we do send out our Friday live stream link. That way, again, you don't have to rely on YouTube. And I think I already showed you this one, but I want to look at it again. Oh my goodness. Um, and then we send out club newsletters Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time for our after party link. And then on Sunday, we give all of our uh, Happy Crafter Club members a first dibs sale and 20% off coupon to our shop. Um, and that's for all of our $1 and up subscribers on either YouTube, you know, as a channel member here, or if you're a supporter on Patreon, or if you signed up through our website. Um, so that's something to kind of, again, just any way to thank y'all just for being here. Let's go see what is new this week. So last we saw y'all, uh, we were fixing to head out. You'll notice a big old nakey empty spot there where our kiln used to be because we took our kiln down to Mesquite, Texas to see my eldest niece graduate. We also dropped that kiln off at Paragon Kilns. Um, so that's really good. Like we dropped it off for repairs because it was a mess. Like you can see all this like rust here was just from whenever we took off the thing from like corrosion like we had removed one of like the electrical box and that was corrosion from the heating elements so it was a mess um but that's okay uh because we dropped it off and i think you might hear clicking over here in this room y'all i want to introduce you to my naked mannequins um but also <laughs> put your tits away <laughs> um <clears throat> our channel is not for kids. Um, <laughs> this is our new kiln. This is Little Blue, and she is a trooper. She's This is a CS14S, which is a clamshell 14-inch square. Big Blue is a CS16S. And, y'all, like, a person could say that I am resistant to change, and that is both an understatement because I am very resistant to change and also just a ridiculous notion entirely because I'm evolving every day and every single thing that I do. I'm always rearranging the house like I'm it's it's a state of discontent chaos, but I'm happy and, you know, my friends like me, so it'll it'll work out in the end, I suppose. But the reason I bring this up is because I did not want to have to learn a new programming thing. And it could not be easier. It like it just couldn't. I press two buttons. It's all touch screen. It's like idiot proof as far as it's Vaughn proof, I guess is what I should say. Because <sighs> she's already dusty. Okay. But yeah. She, she's all set up here, right where our glow forge used to be. And we do have the same vent from uh, when we had our glow forge and we have this inline fan that I'm going to put a hood um, over this and we're going to hook that up to like when we'll have a hood to collect the heat off of this kiln because this one we're going to be running in the daytime um, and she's been able, being a little bit smaller you know 14 inches by 14 inches um, by the same depth as our other kiln I'm pretty sure at least um, she cools down faster and she heats up quicker. So we're able to get two batches done a day. We get it set by, I think 10 in the morning, um, in the mornings. And then we get it set by about 10 in the evening, in the evenings, like right before we go to bed, we, we set her and we've got like alarms and stuff and detectors set up in here. So if anything goes wrong, uh, but Paragon makes really, really good kilns. We got the new electric run. So it's on, she's on her very own circuit and uh so i'm really i'm really excited but there's little blue and she is just cooking away and 
we'll be putting Big Blue back in his spot when we get him back from Paragon. And then that's still Bluebird, our Paragon Bluebird bead kiln um, that she can only get up to a uh, thousand degrees for firing and or a thousand five hundred that's what it is it's a thousand five hundred so we we were able to fuse in her a little bit but you can see it was having all of this scorching on the paint like it was pushing her to her limit whereas our other two kilns with our other two kilns um they can fire up to a thousand seven hundred degrees fahrenheit so running a full fuse cycle was not as I mean, it's still putting them through their paces, but it wasn't as challenging uh, to the machine, and I certainly didn't want to burn out my bead kiln on doing glass fusing. So, um, we're doing that. But I think, I think that's, that's not even everything. That's not even the tip of the iceberg, but that is what we have new in the shop. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. We made jewelry. <laughs> So we're home and we're making jewelry again. And Randy made a whole mess of these Mobius flower and Celtic knot, um, like pre-made bracelet component bracelets. And so we had set a goal for ourselves as far as like we need to make a certain amount of inventory every week in preparation for Dragon Con as well as for putting on our website. So if you guys have any requests for what kind of jewelry you're personally looking for that you'd like to see on our website for sale, let us know because like how we uploaded beads to the website this week, well next week we're going to be adding uh, some different finished pieces. So while we can't quite like we can't take custom orders right now like we can't guarantee that we're gonna make exactly that bracelet and list it up for sale and that you'll be the one to buy it but if I mean if we get a lot of folks who are like we need earrings then we're gonna be making a bunch of earrings and we definitely have an open ear to y'all but we are not making any promises then that's why we're not doing custom orders but I'm still interested in what you guys are looking for um but yeah so what I've been doing is I've been setting up <laughs> with our groovy cabs because we had made so many of them um that we just can't even like they're selling well we just made so many and we can only have so many of a certain style displayed at one time like not for anybody else's you know uh reasoning except our own is that we just want to have you know a little bit of everything out not just groovy cabs so we had quite a bit in back stock still so um just made as pendants so i took the tags off of them and Randy, Maddie, and I strung them up onto, so I've been making three sister necklaces. Uh, so it's their sister pieces. And each one is a little different, but a little the same, like in the neckline. Um, you know, they definitely have color schemes and uh, bead pattern repetitions in common. But with the nature of the beads and the cabochons, um, each one's just a little unique. So we got those done in this blue and purple color. And that's all the cabs on these are the cabochons that we had made in, in big blue before he broke. Um, <laughs> and uh, they're, they've been grooved, which we use a grinder machine. It's a Griffette grinder. Um, and we use the uh, jewelry bit that it's like a little top hat shaped bit where on the brim of the top hat is like a diamond dust that like that like uh, grinds it sorry it cuts like it cuts into the glass to make this really cool little groove that the wire can nestle into and so that way these are great necklaces for folks who don't want a whole lot whole lot of metal touching their skin like if you prefer the feel of glass or gemstone these will be for you which we do have a combination like this one has some green adventuring uh in along with the different glass beads along the neckline and i really like that this one over here um is all glass but that's okay uh because i love i love glass i used to be like a little bit of a gemstone like prude like i only use gemstone like i didn't say that to anybody because opinions are like they're like booty holes <laughs> and you should only show them to your friends when asked so that's not how the quote goes, is it? I should edit that out, but I'm not gonna. Here we go. Um, but no, so it's like I'm not gonna go over to somebody's jewelry and be like, nah, 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 about you know if they used glass. But it's I felt like people would think that gemstones were higher quality, and 
after especially after getting making my own glass like here in my home um it really and it, especially like over on my torch setup like over yonder that's where we make some beads boop boop um <laughs> sorry <laughs> that coffee's hitting um it really gave me a, a much stronger appreciation for the uh, science and technique and artistry that goes into making glass beads. Um, and it's honestly a whole lot of fun. I can see why humans have been doing it for so long. Like, I still can't get enough of it just seeing all the beads together, but we have those ones. And so now I like glass, I think just as much, sometimes more than gemstones, depending on the piece of glass. Like, um, just, but there's some wicked cool like if y'all if y'all are interested in more glass stuff and want to see like examples of like really cool stuff Corning Museum of Glass has just a stellar collection of some of the most beautiful glass in the world so everything from utilitarian pieces to purely sculptural like art and stuff but I like stuff that I can wear on my body so these ones have how light um dyed turquoise it's like it's like a I think they called it African Jasper or African Turquoise, which is a Jasper, but sometimes they've been color enhanced. And so I'm being very transparent about that. But we do also have some genuine turquoise in along the necklines as well. And so that's something that there's a little bit of everything and I love it. Like just the textures, you guys, like, oh my gosh. And it was so fun to string beads with Randy and Maddie. Um, and just, it's a good way to spend a day. And then I'm going to show you these last three. Now, not all of these, um, one of each of these necklaces will be going up to our website next week. Um, but the other two will be going into our booth inventory for Dragon Con, which is our next vending event in Atlanta, Georgia on Labor Day weekend. So I think, I think that's everything. If y'all have any questions, comments, or ideas, please do leave them down below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and we're trying to do a little better about answering comments here on YouTube because I finally, I think, got caught up on emails and like I've been staying on top of it and doing pretty all right. So of course, every time I acclimate to my new workload, I add more work and so I am ready to do more work because I'm, I'm really like, I miss connecting with you guys. Like, remember when we used to like live stream like two or three times a week and it was like a ton of work, but also really, really awesome, like getting to connect and craft together. Um, well, I'm trying to do more of that without adding more work to my plate because like I have to put pants on for live streams and that's, that doesn't sound like much, but it, it takes a day. Like, it's like a whole thing. Um, just like, you know, putting on my human suit and going forth and doing some humaning. Um, y'all know what it's like. And so, but uh, it's it's really nice to be able to answer comments at two in the morning whenever I'm just like hanging out. So, and that's something that I'm not gonna live stream at two in the morning. <laughs> just, I'm not gonna put Randy through that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much again for being here and I will see y'all in our Thursday tutorial and then again in our Friday live stream. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and we'll get back to you. We will see you next time. And until then, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. Oh, and the surprise you were waiting for, that was the kiln. I forgot to mention that. Yay. Surprise. I'm happy. So bye, guys.